Hello and welcome back. Okay, so uh, Give me a second. I want to I was on entry 14 with you guys. Okay, let's read entry 15. I Remember being a famous adventurer my martial prowess surpassed all my brothers that I am sure while they spent their days buried in their bookish studies I was killing brigands and monsters. I always wondered why my father favored them over me Isn't it always the opposite in fairy tales fortune favors the bold not the inspired intellectual something like that and I would love to see my brothers try to think my sword in their face. Entry 16. What if years have passed since I first entered these walls? It is true that I am becoming more proficient in clearing monsters, but it feels like ages has passed. I have even forgotten my own kin look like. What if they think I failed? What if one of my brothers has beaten me to the cure? And what if it mis I mistook them for a monster? Entry 17. I must be going insane. I stumbled across a carnival inside the ca this castle, complete with a sad clown and everything. He's sort of an ass, but I guess you can't be picky with your friends in place like this. I'm be getting hungry again. Good thing I topped off on chicken legs. I found these in a chandelier. This castle. Sometimes I wonder if it's all just a big joke. Entry 18. Journal Entry 18. I have bested the beast of the tower, and once again I could feel the throne room give up some of its power. The rush I feel from the victory is intoxicating. Never I felt, I felt so confident, so powerful, so at home. Just a little further and I will be able to earn my reward. So I'm, I'm so close, I will make my father proud. Entry 19. I have been standing outside the dungeon gate for longer than I care to admit. My courage is finally sapped, for I have spied the monsters below and they make my previous struggles laughable in comparison. I must steel myself, I must focus. There's so little light down there. I fear that I may lose myself. Entry 20. I thought I knew the, what darkness was, but here in this dungeon, the darkness has a voice. It calls at me through gates and around corners. It taunts me. The darkness is so thick. It's almost tangible, and the beasts here have made it their home. They move swiftly through the corridors and are more terrifying than anything I've fought before. I must be prudent and choose my battles carefully. Being confrontational now may cost me my life. Journal 21. I have done it! I have defeated the dungeon master. All that remains is to enter the throne room. After this, the king will honor me for my valor and acknowledge me for, as the rightful success, successor to the throne. Not my faceless siblings. Journal 22. I sit here making my final preparation. All that lays between me and the lord of the castle is the golden doors. There is a, a nervousness in my body that I cannot quell. This fear? Or fear sightment? All I know is that my journey is finally reaching an end. I have almost forgotten why I entered the castle in the first place, but I remember now. I have bested my siblings. I will save the king and leave this castle a greater man when, than when I entered. My family will get the honor they so rightfully deserve. Now I enter the throne room. Journal 23. I never knew what treasure lay inside the castle. I knew only that it would cure the king. Who could have suspected it would have been a fountain of youth? I expected a monster to greet me in the dais, a foe of unimaginable strength. I imagined it would take all my strength to best him. But when I entered the castle, I saw my father, the king, sitting atop the dais with a goblet in hand. I knew all was lost. He would never die, and I would never be heir. There are no words to express what I feel. Entry 24. And those are, from my knowledge, the only diary entries. And finally, I know I said I was going to skip to the boss, but I kind of want to talk about what I like, what this all means as I kind of like sprint to the boss or whatever. So this entire, the all of the journal entries have been one specific character. And apparently it's been the traitor, I think. That's that's what I, how I'm ter interpreting it so far. So apparently the traitor came and was like, I'm gonna save the king, I'm gonna get wealthy, and I'm gonna be rich, and then when the king dies, everything's gonna be great because I saved his life. But it turns out, he actually saved the king's life so well that the king's never gonna die. And I guess the beginning of the game, the very first episode where I'm sprinting in, like you play as that dude sprinting into the castle, and you're really overpowered and you don't have a health bar, is that you being the traitor sprinting in and killing the king. And now we're... A descendant of that king who got pissed at the traitor for doing that 
Uh, I mean, I guess uh, maybe maybe that's not right. I mean, I think the traitor part is right. It's just uh, the person, the, the people coming in to fight. I think I need a better theory about. But there's someone because there's someone's descendant. Is this a blank room? God damn it! I, d I really don't care about money right now, and I really don't care about anything else. I'm just kind of trying to get out of here. <clears throat> I don't care about money or anything. I'm just trying to kind of find a boss room right now. But anyway, yeah, so far that's kind of what I've managed to figure out or glean from the story. Get out of here. Get out of here. Eh, whatever, I'll grab a couple dollars. But, so yeah, that is what the story is that it would appear. Which is nice because for over half the game I haven't known what the damn story is. I've been trying to figure it out. And from what I can tell, that is the story. It's, you, you play it as this dude in the very beginning of the game. And the reason why all of this began was because of that dude wanting to help the king. Realizing that the king was never going to die. Getting super pissed about it and taking matters into his own hands. And now I guess he's the master of this castle? I guess he's the fi going to be the final boss? I mean, I guess. It, it makes complete sense. If my theory is right. So, that, that should be interesting. First... Obviously, we're going to find this damn... Where is this boss room? Where is this boss room? Come on. Help. Get, throw me a bone. There we go. Here we go. All right. We are prepared now. All right. You guys ready? I'm excited. Let's get it on. Let's do this. Let's do this. The Brohanas. The Brohanas? Joannas the traitor. What the fuck? What is going on? Well, there are... Oh, the bro... Okay, I, I get it now. Oh, wow. So I have... Okay. Can I... Whoa. Okay. Okay, I see what I'm working with. I'm really powerful. This is cool. The bro, <laughs> my God, the bro Hanas. Okay, okay, okay. So this fight doesn't look too too dangerous, but I do need to kind of get accustomed to it. I can't get hit more than seven times, it would seem. Hmm. So I have a dash rune. All right. All right. All right. This is not a hard fight. This is this is not a hard fight. It's just, uh, I gotta kind of get them together. The Brahanas. Okay. Hey, what's up? What up? Damn it, I wasn't... Here we go. Alright, I've got it now. Here we go. Alright, I want to try to save these. It looks like... I say as I immediately waste them. Ah, oh, fuck. I really don't want to get them like that. Hmm. You know, maybe this fight is a bit more tougher than I was giving it credit for at first. Hmm. Because the triangle, I'm not really quite sure what to do with. Interesting. This might... I might actually have to edit this video. <laughs> Damn it. It's not that I don't like editing videos, it's just... Oh, wait. If I if I only piss off one... It looks like I can control, like, who I piss off. So if I just piss him off... Oh, come on. Come here. Come back. It looks like I can actually control uh, this fight a lot more than I was giving it credit for at first. By oh wow, good. I I I'll give that to him. That was a good shot. Oh god damn it. Oh god. Okay, never mind. I thought there was a level of control that I could have with this, but it doesn't actually look like there is. Because it was like, oh, if I just stay to the right, I can possibly like piss them off like this. And oh god damn it. Okay. 
Hmm. Tough. Very tough. Please. I want it. I want to keep it how it was before. Do they have invincibility frames on their deck? Goddamn dodge. I bet they have invincibility frames on their dodge, and I don't. So I have a bunch of vault runes. I'm not quite sure how the vault runes help. Look, I'm trying to... I'm experimenting a little bit. But apparently I have vault runes. For some reason. I can get hit seven times, which is actually pretty generous. Considering the last boss fight, I can only really get hit... Uh, two or three times? Yeah, he has totally has invincibility frames on his fucking... Dash. Wow. What an asshole. But it looks like my triangle ability is really good. It does a lot of damage. I'm just going to sit here and spam and hope for the best. Damn it. Okay, that's not going to work. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this post commentary thing from now. So I'm gonna save this uh, little recording, and next uh, I'm gonna actually post commentary this because I can already I have a feeling this boss is gonna take forever. So I will see you guys then. See you then. Bye. Hello and welcome to the post commentary for the Brohanas fight. Okay, so I've actually got my thoughts straight a little bit. Uh, I was to be quite honest, I was kind of all over the place whenever I was trying to like talk about these dudes, but. I actually don't think this fight is terrible, although it does kind of break my, uh, my little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like my pet peeve of having just two of the exact same enemy in the same room and calling it a boss fight, which is giving them a lot of health. It's like, we couldn't really make this single enemy difficult on its own, so we just put two of them in the same room and called it a challenge. I mean, I have some future knowledge of the fact that, like, in a later boss fight it's um, like there's a solo dude like this so I guess they tried to make it unique by having two of them in the same room but made them slower and stuff but I don't know it's uh as far as uh, unique design goes it's uh, it's not my favorite I do like <clears throat> how the character actually plays differently because he has two separate abilities he has the daggers and the the axe throwing I do like that and I did learn that there was actually a certain amount of control that you can exert over the fight, which I do enjoy. Like, if you go to the right, you can only aggro one of the enemies, and you can slowly take him out. Although, occasionally, the blue one will just show up, uh, seemingly for no reason, and just start kind of wrecking your shit. And I can't really pinpoint why, it's just sometimes he does it, and sometimes he runs away, and you don't see him for a while. It's a bit weird. But, as you can see... Yeah, this fight didn't really actually take me all too long. It's like, this was right after I had stopped recording. I was pretty much being quiet and kind of doing whatever to myself. Like, just kind of quietly focusing. Man, those axes are terrifying. But, uh, yeah, he's, it's really not that difficult to fight. But there's, on, like, coming off of the dragon fight, I that dragon fight was just so fun and unique and it had like these interesting mechanics that you didn't see anywhere else in the game I was really hoping that the final like fight would be something like that but it really wasn't it this one's just kind of a it's kind of a letdown in all honesty I really was looking forward to something being really awesome and unique and cool and I kind of I just kind of yeah it just it was a little bit of a letdown it was kind of sad also can you notice how many of these fucking guardian swords these dudes like to spam? You see these swords? These dudes love to use these things. They fucking love them. <clears throat> and they, I do actually like the fact that they uh, have the same death animation as uh, the player character or whatever. I actually really like that. I think that's a nice touch. Like I said, that's, I don't think this fight is terrible or anything. It's just that there's a couple of things I'm like, ah, it could have been better. Like, eh, it's just, we had, we were at such a high note with the dragon fight that I really was looking for something more. But it's okay. Now, this blue dude, I, I don't know if they have differing health bars or if they have different attack patterns or whatever. I think they might be identical. But this blue guy is really tricky. How many swords is that? Five? I think if there is a, a maximum amount, and yeah, this, 
the AI knows that all it has to do is actually sprint into you and it hurts you. And that kind of sucks because that time, like right when that happened, I was talking about the uh, the guardian swords or whatever. That dude did not swing. He just sprinted into me and hurt me. Although I do admit the AI for this fight is actually pretty easy to handle. But they love to spam this goddamn sword. They just love that shit. Like, I could not imagine fighting both of these dudes at the exact same time. I could not imagine it. That would be terrifying. But, uh, <coughs> anyway, as you can see, it's getting very close. I'm about two, I have about two hits in me. Oh, he got a hit off. That was bullshit. So, I do admit that, um, I don't know what it is, but that blue motherfucker will just, he is just really good at killing me specifically, and I don't know why the fuck that is. And it's right about here. No, actually, it's not here yet. But as you can see, I have a bit of my pattern set out. I like to attack the red dude and kind of try to piss him off and let the try to fight the blue one last. I don't know what it is. I just think the blue one's harder for some reason. And I can't pinpoint why either. It's just something about him just I find difficult. And I'm actually scared that I'm going to aggro both of them. So I was kind of taking a, foot st a few steps forward. And as you can see, I actually did aggro both of them and it kind of sucks. So now I'm just like, oh god. So I'm kind of, ah, oh, damn it, I ran right into that axe. That was completely my fault. But here I am, I'm just honestly trying my best to, like, separate them and make the blue one stop fighting me. And this is about when I learned that the AI can be a bit more manipulated than I thought. Because I learned that uh, if you hit them at just the right angle, you can, uh, you can play a little tennis with them. And they also are programmed to constantly do this, even after they're technically supposed to be dead. So I'm just kind of sitting here and kind of having fun. Boom. <laughs> I was trying to make tennis noises, but I don't actually know what a tennis ball sounds like against a tennis racket. Or, well, I do, I just don't know how to make that noise with my mouth. <clears throat> but anyway, yep, it's just me and a one-on-one -on -one fight with the blue guy again I'm being very careful it looks like I'm pretty much in the exact same situation I was earlier as long as I'm careful like the p honest to god pattern it seems to oh I'm here I am oh yeah oh yeah this looks so good and oh I, I don't even know how he got out of that it's <clears throat> it kinda seemed like shenanigans and just like last time somehow or another this motherfucker managed to get me like twice in a row I guess I was getting cocky or something, but oh goddamn that axe! But as you can see, somehow or another, this blue guy is just really tough, or I'm just incompetent. But this guy is tough and is really hard to fight for me, and I'm not sure why. And you see that shit? That guy did not even swing; he just ran into me until I took damage, and that's shenanigans. I hate the blue one. <clears throat> but anyway, like I said, a fight's not super difficult, and as you can see, I'm kind of trying my best to get red stuck in the uh, infinite tennis loop and it looks like it didn't really have that much of a trouble this time oh but he got out damn it <clears throat> wait if I mean I'm serious if you can get them stuck in that animation it is <clears throat> it really does trivialize the fight if you can just constantly do that and what I noticed is uh, about their two patterns is if they like to this is if you play this game yourself and you're trying to beat these guys and you're having trouble. If they jump, uh, stay on the ground and just swing and you'll hit them. If they are running at you, jump and attack. And they don't really seem to know what to do if you do that. <clears throat> and that seems to be the best strategy I can offer to defeat these dudes. Anything else and you're probably uh, going to have a really tough time. Especially taking them on at the exact same time. I cannot, like I said, I cannot stress enough how, like, insane this fight must be trying to fight both of these dudes at the exact same time. So I'm very glad that you can actually exert some control and be like, alright, I'm just going to piss off one of these dudes. And here I am kind of scared that if I run forward, I'm going to piss off Blue, because I really just don't want to piss off Blue. Blue has killed me, like, twice now, when he was low on health, and it's bullshit. <clears throat> Man, my voice got really deep all of a sudden what the fuck happened I know I'm tired but that axe was bullshit every single time with that motherfucker I actually really like the daggers <clears throat> oh god here comes blue I pissed off blue 
And it looks like he's actually going to be kind of armor for red. So I'm just, as you can see, I'm kind of just spamming daggers, hoping to kill one of them. And it looks like I actually killed red off screen. And I've got a couple daggers, and it looks like I'm just going to start spamming them, kind of hoping to get blue stuck in a pattern. And God damn it, blue. I, don't, I swear, I don't know what it is. Red I can take out, no problem. No issue. And then all of a sudden, blue's like, nah, nah, fuck you. Fuck you, I'm going to make sure that this is as close as humanly possible. Oh, God. <clears throat> but yeah, the real trick is just learning that if he jumps in the air, it it's a excellent time to just stay on the ground. And, oh, God damn it. He, the fact that he hit me after the knockback was just silly. But the trick is, uh, if he's staying on the ground, you jump and attack. And if he jumps in the air, you stay on the ground and attack. And it, I think I actually got lucky there that I didn't actually die. Like, <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but if you... when it, uh, Some of the fights that I was having off screen, if I ever attacked him in the air, he would just hit me out of it. So I think I got really lucky with not dying there. But here it is, the fight's winding down again. Can't really afford to get hit. He's low on health. I've almost got him. One more fucking hit. Come on. And there he is, spamming his goddamn sword. And there he goes. And that's the fight. And here I am, paranoid that the guardian swords could kill me, so I don't actually progress. And you get the medallion com complete. And apparently, doing this unlocks you a new class, but I haven't got to really play with it. I'll have to experiment with it off camera, but apparently, it's super powerful. And that is what you get for getting beating all the extra bosses. Neat. And that's it.